Okay, everyone. Today I am going to show you how to test for pH and ammonia in your aquarium water. First, I'm going to do ammonia since it takes a little bit longer to show its colors. First, you take your test tube, rinse it out in your aquarium a few times. And then fill it up pretty close to the line. And for the ammonia has two different bottles. First, you're going to put eight drops of bottle number one. Okay. And then eight drops of bottle number two. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. And then you're going to take your test tube cover, rinse that out in the tank, put it on top of your test tube, shake, and, and normally this takes a few minutes to show its color. So while that's doing that, I am going to do the pH. I am going to rinse the test tube out the same way as with the ammonia. Fill it up to a line. Now with the pH, I'm not going to need eight drops of two bottles. This only has one bottle and you put three drops. One, two, three. And Rinse off the cover, put the cover back on your test tube, shake, pH shows up immediately, the, the pH in this aquarium is around 7.4. I don't know how good you can see this. Yeah, it's around 7.4. And the ammonia should be done by now. The ammonia is around... The, the ammonia is now at zero. That is... That's the best it can be. And uh, sometimes you may have nitrate in your tank. You're going to need a separate test for that. I, I don't have that test right now. I will show how to test for nitrate on another video. And uh, in the drops form from your containers, just make sure you don't get this in the aquarium because it is poisonous and it, it will harm or kill your fish. So it, after you test, it r rinse out your test tubes in a sink completely. Never rinse it out in the tank with the poison inside it. And that is how to test uh, your aquarium water for ammonia and pH. Thanks for watching.